leave a message after the tone. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am faking being rich on Tinder. Today is Saturday the 11th of May, so I am going to be doing this experiment for about a week, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. It's honestly just dependent on how it's going. I have seen a few people pretend to be rich on Tinder before, and then one of my best friends, Byron, pretended to be rich on Instagram, and I just thought it was so funny to see people's reactions. Personally, I haven't seen a girl fake it on Tinder yet. I've only seen guys fake it on Tinder, so I thought I would fake it and see a load of boys' reactions. I'm really not ashamed to say that I used to use tinder like I used to use it quite a lot as well I just thought it was a good way to meet people did it really work for me no I was always quite unlucky because I was really picky with who I swiped which I probably shouldn't have been like I know I shouldn't have been hands up I would barely get any matches like I'm not even afraid to admit it so maybe if I pretend to be rich I might get a few more. I'm about to re-download the app and we're gonna set up a complete new profile with a load of edited photos that I've done just to make myself appear rich I've just come out to my car because I want to try and get one of those like you've just got your nails done type of photos and you're like holding it against your steering wheel and then obviously I'm going to edit it to look a lot more expensive. I'm pretty sure that I've got one here. I've took loads of different ones. I'm basically going to like duplicate my ring across like all my different fingers and like edit this to be like a Ferrari or like a BMW or something. I don't know. We'll see what we can do with it. But I'm going to make it look like one of those classic pictures that literally makes it look like I'm a millionaire. <laughs> And then it was time to begin editing my photos. So I just used a bunch of photos I already had apart from the hand one on the steering wheel. The first one I did was my Louis Vuitton bikini, which I feel like actually looked semi-real in the end. Like I feel like this is probably one of the most realistic ones. Then I moved on to editing a Balenciaga logo on a plain black t-shirt. Again, I feel like this one actually looked fairly realistic because they actually do a top like this anyway. The next one, I mean, doesn't really look very realistic and I actually completely failed so I had to just basically not edit it like this but I edited a little Louis Vuitton badge on my coat looks really fake but nobody actually said anything then I edited a wire cell bag next to myself you know just to match my top but as you will see a lot of people picked up on this one being fake and then I moved on to editing some jewelry onto myself so I actually edited a Gucci necklace onto myself which again I feel like actually looked fairly real and then finally I moved on to my hand on the steering wheel which is probably one of my favorite photos just because I think this is so funny and I think it actually does look fairly real. Let's go on the app store and re-download Tinder. Yeah, I did delete the app because you know when you've just like given up with it. <laughs> Once that's downloaded, we can start to make our new profile. I'm actually really nervous for this because if people see this profile and think I'm actually being serious, then it just makes me look really stuck up. Like I promise, like I'm literally not being serious at all. This is one big joke. I'm just intrigued to see what people's reactions are. Like if people want to talk to me more or if people are more forward. I might even recognize some people on here. I don't know. The app App is taking ridiculous time to download. Here we go, let's open the Tinder app and let's start to make a new profile. So I need to create a new account, so I need to enter my phone number. So for my about me, I actually wrote this down yesterday when I was laying in bed because I was trying to think of something funny that I could put. So for, I've got a six figure bank account, you don't be shy, drop me your PayPal details and we will go from there. Please subscribe, sadly my money can't buy me the diamond play button. Obviously I'm joking, I'm being completely sarcastic, so please do not think I'm being serious. For my job title, do I put something funny like gold digger or do I just put something like YouTube? I'm just going to put youtuber i've added all of the photos and oh my god i mean some of them do look really fake especially this last one like the wire cell bag just looks so edited on here is my finished account so this is the first picture that i put i edited obviously the necklace on myself then i've got the one with the bikini on then i've got the one with my hand on the steering wheel and all the cartier then i've got this really badly edited on louis vuitton badge but we're gonna go with it anyway then i've got the balenciaga one and then i've got the wire cell one and obviously the bag does look a bit 
dodgy and then obviously we have got the information bit down here and then i'm basically just gonna swipe a load of people right and just see how many matches i get i'm not even like looking at what people look like i'm genuinely just swiping every single person right on my phone right now so these could be people i'm not even meant to be swiping right like these could be like friends exes or whatever oh festival mode i'd probably say i've swiped about 100 to 150 people right and then i'm just gonna keep checking back now throughout the different days to see what people are saying to see what people are replying but that's the main profile up so let's see what people say it is now around five to six days later and let me tell you it has been interesting the first obstacle i faced was my account got banned like why i'd been messaging people i'd been talking to people everything was going great i obviously wasn't sending any inappropriate messages so it wasn't because of that i don't know if it was because of my bio i genuinely have absolutely no idea but that account got banned so we had to completely scrap that and start a new account i put the exact same bio i put all the exact same pictures and then i left it overnight to see how many likes i got and again i bought in the gold when i woke up the next morning i had 2449 likes to get that overnight is a lot like i think that's a lot anyway and then i carried on swiping people right then i got my first message and his name is iwan maybe i think his name is and it says are you a bank loan because you have my interest the theme of this video is i meant to be super cocky so i replied i mean i do have enough money if you're wanting a loan and then i never got a response next i had a conversation with someone called luke and this was probably the most interesting conversation i've had so far first of all he actually just reacted to my profile photo and he did this a couple of days before he actually messaged me i don't know if he was like thinking about messaging me or it's because i hadn't responded to his like i don't know but then i got a message saying swear you've photoshopped every single one of your photos i just replied being really dumb and i just put what's photoshop and then he put the ysl bag is 2d for some reason that made me laugh when Way more than it probably should have so then i just replied saying guess what i photoshopped and what i haven't he then started listing all the things that i photoshopped so he put gucci necklace louis vuitton bikini 100 percent lenciaga top looks real but good effort if not and then i just said can i ask you a question and before i even got to reply he put can i ask you a question how you got six figures in your bank account and you are on tinder i replied putting i don't like to brag so nobody knows obviously contradicting my complete profile and then he just sent me this back and it was so fun like i found it so so funny whilst i was in a conversation with him and we were talking about the whole like idea of photoshopping i thought i'd just say let's pretend that all my photos were perfectly photoshopped would the fact that i'm covered in designer stuff and have a six-figure bank account make you want to swipe right and he put not at all doing that just makes you look like a to be honest i swiped right because you're good looking if anything the six figures and brands is a turn off that made me really happy because personally for me if i saw this tinder profile as well and i saw somebody with a buyer like that i wouldn't even swipe right like even if i thought they were good looking i just wouldn't bother so i appreciated the fact that he was completely honest with me and then i basically told him that it was a youtube video and asked if i could use the messages for this video i thought the guy before luke didn't reply but he actually did he put it's calm i got my own peas if you're wanting alone no thank you and then i got a message from someone called kagan and he responded to my profile picture and he put you're an extra sub closer to 10 mil thank you very much for subscribing i hope you enjoy the video then i got a message from someone called ben and he put that bag looks edited af well ben you were correct then i was talking to someone called harry and he put i have more followers than you and i put do you and he put haha do you not know who i am and i just put um should i i'm not gonna lie he looks like a spit of sean mendez obviously it's not sean mendez but boy did he look like sean mendez and then i put have you ever been told you look like sean mendez because i'm not joking he really did and he put ha 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 sometimes you're the fit one not me lol we have to go film or shoot something too and then i actually never responded because i forgot so harry i really really do apologize then someone called mario messaged me and he put be my princess peach where can i come and rescue you and bring you wine given my name i think it's a good one and i put wow that's a good one i'll give you that he put thank you but you've had some good ones i didn't respond then someone called Jay messaged me saying, do you like clothes sales? And I put love them. He put good because I'm offering clothes 100% off at my place. And I put that's good. I'll give you that. I never normally shop in the sales section. It's all about the designer for me, but I rate it. And then he never replied. Compared to my Tinder that I used to have, where I literally just had like my normal photos and a normal bio, I definitely got way more likes and way more people messaging me first, which I did find really interesting. And before my account got banned, I was in such good conversations with people.
people like genuinely some guy and I don't remember his name asked me what my perfect first date was and obviously because I'm pretending to be like super rich and bougie I was like oh dinner at the top of the shard would be like average and he was fully going along with it like he was fully gonna take me to the shard for dinner but then when I was having that conversation with Luke and he saw it all as a turn off that's personally what I think as well I'm aware that I have some really nice things that I've worked for and I've managed to buy myself but would I ever cover my tinder profile like in all the designer stuff like that absolutely not like I said if I saw someone do that and even if I thought they were good looking I just genuinely would swipe them left anyway so I found that really interesting I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please smash a huge thumbs up let me know if you want me to fake being rich or fake being something else on any other platform maybe I could do it on Instagram just like I faked going to Coachella I feel like I should just post one of these photos on Instagram just to see people's reactions and just to see what people say anyway thank you so much for watching I really hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you very very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye!